Hi everyone, it's Mistress of Manifestations and welcome to my YouTube channel. A big hello to Leos. How are you, my darlings? How's everyone doing? This is going to be a general, this card is just wanting to come out. A general card, a general reading. So not all the messages are going to apply to you, but if you feel that this message is for you, just claim it. Feel free to switch the roles, as in if this message applies, you know, it's confusing for you, but it is applicable to the team, to somebody you're asking about, switch the roles. I want you to check your sun, your moon, rising, and your Venus. Venus for love, please. It's very important. And you won't believe the card that flew out when I said Venus. Um, guys. Your cards are just falling from every direction, okay? So, how are you, my Leos? Guys, we'll just start. So, remember when I told you that when I said Venus, this is a card that flew at the Empress. What a card. What a card. She's by Venus. She's all things Venusian. Style, class, beauty, a mom, a very, very maternal energy. Very maternal energy. Now, on this 19th, Leos, we do have a full moon lunar eclipse, and if I'm not sure. And the Empress coming out, this is somebody you can literally create. I mean, come on. She gives birth to a real-life person who can walk, run, eat, you know, dance, whatever. So... This kind of an energy, if you are in this energy, you are in the zone to manifest your stuff fast. It's like somebody who is a master manifester and on steroids. So this is somebody who touches stuff and turns it to gold. So this is your energy, Leo, to start with beautiful, sexual, um, what can I say, beauty, grace, refinement, Vitality, somebody who's active, who's a mom, who's very nurturing, somebody who knows how to grow things, somebody who's the epitome of beauty, style and grace. Lovely energy. Now, the next card which I have, so the Empress is, is ruled by Venus, not even notion. Two of wands. Wands are fire. Wands are what you desire in your life. Wands are things that, you know, fire you up. The actions you take to achieve your goals. So this is a choice. Are you in a position where you are contemplating a choice? You're deciding where to put your passion in next. It's almost like this individual is, you know, there's a globe here. It's like the world is your oyster. You are thinking, you are strategizing, you're making plans in your mind, Leo. Where should I now invest my passion in? You seem to be at the threshold of making a decision. You know, it's like 11-11, you know, it's a door. And you're waiting to think, where should I go now with this one? Where should I put this passion into now? The source, this is... Extreme emotional pain and a heartbreak, Leos. Um, I hope this is not your energy, but of course, you know, I'm reading for the collective. And uh, somebody has pierced your heart. And, you know, the Empress, she's a very, very caring, nurturing energy. Like I said, this is somebody who literally creates stuff in the 3D. And you perhaps try to create a very, very passionate relationship. That is an act of creation too, Leos. And I know you. You love to shine. You're so generous. You must have really bent backwards to make somebody happy. And this is what they gave you. You know, these 10 swords, for me, almost symbolize 10 ways in which you tried to make somebody happy. And they took each of that, you know, act of yours and they stabbed it back to you saying, here, this is how much I loved it. And that's how they left you on your back. This is overkill. I mean, there's no need for this. I mean, some people just are ungrateful, Leos. And I know you because when you give you, your art is 
I don't know, bigger than the universe probably. The Empress and the Ten of Swords is somebody really hurting. And when the Empress comes out, it is somebody who's really given a lot, a very caring individual. And somebody has gone to great depths of BS to hurt you, to stab you. It's a painful ending of a situation. There could have also been a lot of drama here. And this has put you in this energy. Where do I go next? What do I pursue? Or who do I pursue? Because the Empress, I mean, she is the embodiment of all the four queens. There's nobody above her on, in the tarot. So if you've already, if you already are an Empress, what more does a person want? I mean, come on now. You're thinking, where do I take my passion? Where do I take, where do I take what I have to give? Because I know you have a lot to give, Leos, and you're tired of giving it to somebody who didn't care. This is what they gave you. Betrayal, pain, sorrow, drama, an overkill, and overkill. You feel stabbed. You feel stabbed, pinned down, defeated. Now, I think you're dealing with a fire sign, Leo. Now, there could be an age difference between the two of you, Leo, because you are showing up as an empress and they are a knight. You are way higher than them. This could be a Sagittarius. A Knight of Wands, Aries, Sag, Leo. But for me, this is mostly Sagittarius. Somebody who likes to travel, explore, go on trips, you know, could be a foreigner. This is somebody younger to you. For me, this energy is all about passion. It's all about coming in for the weekend, you know, spending time with you. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just about sex, passion, and all the things which are not the only things that make a relationship. Yes, they're very important to have, you know, a lot of passion in your relationship. Of course it is. I mean, as human beings, we are here to experience all that, right? But if that is the be all and end all of a relationship, that's not fun because after a point you get bored when somebody just wants to play. And this for me is that energy of somebody who just wants to play. It's a player. A big flirt. This is you. This and this together. You're thinking, you made a mental prism, Leo. You know, you know you're the Empress. I know that you know that. You're very, I, Leo's are, Leo is a lion man. Come on now. You know your power and your worth. Why have you put yourself in this mental prison, Leos? This is your own self-created. You are making something bigger than it is. Come on now. Come on now. You know that in one, you know, you just have to move your hands and whack these swords out, but you are putting yourself in this eight of swords, eight of swords, where you feel, you feel stuck. You feel trapped. You feel like you're a prisoner of your own ideas and beliefs. You have convinced yourself that you're the victim. Has this individual, look, this is a player energy. Has this person made you feel, you know, like you are the gaslighting narcissist? Where they put the whole blame on you. And you are feeling like you're trapped. You're stuck. You're confused. Again, there's confusion. I'm sorry. I'm saying again because the Cancerian reading that I did, there was just much of confusion. So if you are dealing with a fire sign who is only coming in for the passion and the sex and then the et cetera, et cetera, without any feelings, but they're dealing with a freaking empress, it's not going to work, man. They have to up their game. You are showing up as an empress. They're showing up as a knight. 
you're way higher than them in energy. And this is this situation, there is an age difference here too. It's putting you in this energy. I'm going to take a totally different deck. Okay, guys? Leos, I'm going to take my situations tarot deck and see what's going on here. And this is love. This is love. This is, uh, I'm not getting any uh, money-based message. This is love. My Leos, my lions, my Leos, please. Beginning to understand a bit now. Some of whoa, guys. Look at I'll just first explain this to you. The reason you feel stuck, the reason you feel you are trapped, even though this individual is hurting you with their crap and their bullshit, is because look, I mean, look at these cards. It's because. In this whole deck of 78 cards, the soulmate and the twin flame card comes out, Leo. You believe or you've convinced yourself that this is your soulmate and this is your twin flame. You've convinced yourself. This is it. And you feel there's a deadline. Time is running out. If you do not accept, you know, whatever they're saying or I don't know what they're convincing you. Look, I want to tell you something about twin flames, okay? That's not a fun journey. <laughs> they are usually here to teach us a lesson. I want you to sit and think about this, Leo, because you're not happy. If you were happy, then Ten of Swords would not be coming out in your reading. Eight of Swords, this is a progression from the Eight to the Ten. It would not be coming out in your reading. You're not happy. You're, con you're convincing yourself to be happy. You're saying this is my soulmate. I'm not twin flame, so I have to put up with this. No. Please give me some guidance for Leo's. Did you meet this individual on the internet? Because I this this word internet here is totally, you know, yelling out, screaming out to me. You met this person online. You met them through some kind of a dating app or through some social, you met this individual on some social platform. And you're going through waves of emotions. And there is a full moon on this 19th. I want you to take care of yourself on, the, on that day. Because the moon energy is very strong, please. And when it's a full moon, you know, it's, um, it gets amplified. Please take care of yourself if you are experiencing what I'm talking right now. But you feel stuck and trapped in what you have convinced yourself to be a soulmate or a twin flame relationship. I want you to understand that these waves of emotions that you're feeling, it's like some days you're happy, some days you're sad. You know you need to break out of this, but you feel you're keeping yourself trapped because you've convinced yourself this is your soul, soulmate, this is your twin flame, time is running out. I also get a message. Some of you are feeling that if you do not, you know, stick with this individual, you may not find somebody else or you're too old right now. There is an age difference here. There's somebody who's older and dealing with somebody who's younger. Are you trying to convince somebody to, you know, settle down and they are, they are like, no, 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 I want to still play around because this energy is a player and a flirt. They are not interested in settling down. And the empress for me is somebody who is ready to be a mom, a family, you know, not a family woman, but somebody who wants to, you know, go to the next phase of life where you want to settle down, you want to have your home, you want to have your kids, whatever. This person is not in that energy. And they're constantly hurting you by telling you that they're not interested. Now, there's two of wands here, which is you contemplating your next move. And then this deck is showing up as interlude, pause. Timing. There's a timing factor here. Look, I know you are sitting and thinking what you should do next. And this card is telling me, I mean, it is just, you know, validating this card that it's, you need to take this time out from this individual, please. Eat popcorn, man. Looking fabulous. Empress, come on now. You need to sit with yourself and think, 
is it worth continuing the saga? And after you eat your popcorn, if you feel that this movie is not worth it, you're free to go home. You are not trapped in the movie theater, are you now? You are not trapped in your life either, Leos. Hold on. I'm going to ask, take another card before I tell you. And in, in the previous deck, there is one more card remaining. But I'm holding on to that because I want to see what is coming in for you. Once you take again that card had to fall all the way back here I go and here I come okay so I have a feeling you've met this individual online because see these two cards this is plugged internet social media platforms <clears throat> online looking for records you know that this individual is not all all what they say they are. Oh, this guy is a player, man. Please, Leos, come on now. This is a player. Player is a player is a player. A leopard doesn't change his spots here. You're looking for information. I know it. Been trying to find out why things don't add up for Leos, please. Please. Yours, this person really has you. You're hoping and praying that you have a reconciliation because you feel this is your soul contract. Is this individual convincing you that they are the one for you and it doesn't matter if they're going to be playing around? Why am I getting this message, Leos? This is very uncanny for Leos. Usually, I know Leos, you know, they, they get, I mean, come on now, everybody has their soft spots. But you are almost hoping that this individual changes you are putting, you have put a lot into this relationship because for me, this card also is, is a symbol of you. You know, you've already put so much of passion. This, this one is already standing here. But you're thinking if you should invest the second one too. And again, when you're an empress, you're a very mature person. But this individual somehow seems to light some kind of a fire. Maybe the sex is good. I don't know. Because they've convinced you. They have convinced you that they're your soulmate and your twin flame and you're staying stuck in this situation. You're keeping yourself stuck. Look, you're praying and hoping that there's a reconciliation with this person and you can come together. I want to ask some more. I want to take another card on this. What should Leo do? Please give me guidance on what should my Leos be doing, please. Yeah, there's a lot of sex and the sex must be very good, Leos, or you are very attracted to this individual. And of course, vice versa. I mean, come on now. There's a lot of sexual passion here, but that's all that there is, Leo. And if it's not making you happy, look, if these cards wouldn't have come on, I would have said, yeah, you know what? Great. But these two cards are telling me that somebody's trying to trick you into believing that they're your soulmate. But all that they want from you is sex. Wait. One more card, please, for my Leos. Please. Hold on show you your cards. Do you remember I was telling you that you are snooping? Where's that card gone? Searching, looking for information online. There is some information coming in about child alimony and government. This individual could already be married. They could be living in another state and they could be traveling to see you every weekend and you know, telling you that you're the one and you're the only one. They have somebody else and you're gonna find that out. going to find that out, I feel, with your snooping, Leos. It's going to lead to a realization, an awareness of finding out, coming to light of how much this individual has been playing you. Now, single, single. 
this is what you could be going towards. Current status available. Looking pretty good to me. Very sharp, Leos. I think, and I'll tell you why I'm happy to see the Lux card. Archangel Michael is saying that you are protected, prevented from harm, divine intervention. You do know Archangel Michael overlooks all the soulmate twin flame relationships. So if this individual has been fooling you and telling you that they are your twin flame and your soulmate, Archangel Michael is coming in to show you some big red flag that you cannot ignore. And he's calling judgment on this and he's trying to tell you that he's protecting you and preventing harm from coming to you and divine intervention. He is intervening and guess who is coming or who is around in your energy? A Knight of Pentacles. This was the card that I held on to before showing it to you. I want to take one more card. This individual is just coming in for the sex and the desire. This is a total player. Whoever this is, I don't know. Uh, it's a fire sign for sure. I want to take one more card. I want to take one more card. I have a Knight of Pentacles here. This is somebody who's very slow, very strategic, uh, who takes their time. There is no rushing here. They're always, you know, they're studying everything and then they take a decision. This is not somebody who is uh, this in and out energy, just dealing with the sex part of it. No, they're not. Yes. Take one more card for my Leos, please. Leos. Leos, look at this. There's going to be a tug of war. So much of fire in your reading here. You are dealing with, of course, another fire sign like you. I think this is your heart. This is your heart and your mind. This is a battle going on. Battle Royale. Your heart is telling you something to hold on and your mind is saying, you know what? This is not working. You know what? This individual is just coming in for the sex and the passion. There is no emotional fulfillment. There is nothing here for me. Nothing. Except for fun over the weekend. But the wheel is coming and this is Jupiter. It's the wheel of fortune in many decks. It's coming in to give you a change of direction. And this, I think, is coming in after you are taking a pause. Remember the popcorn card in the other, the interlude? When you sit and think as to why you're not happy. The Empress can never, ever be stuck. No, you are finding out some realization, something. Some information is coming to light. And I want you to know that the wheel of fortune is in your favor to help you change directions and move away from somebody who's a fraudulent soulmate. They're not your soulmate. They're tricking you into believing that. And this heart and this, you know, it's pulling at your heartstrings and your mind is trying to convince you no. But I'm glad you're taking a break and a pause. And I want you to know that you're going to reinvent yourself. This for me is fantastic. I love this card. This is a magical Queen Leo. It's just fire, fire, fire. So somebody who breaks down, you know, totally and remodels herself into this. The Empress. Okay. And this. What a combination, Leo. What a combination, Leo. And there is somebody in your energy, a Knight of Pentacles. They're looking at you. They're looking at you. They're making a decision. But again, I feel that there is going to be either an age difference here. And if, the, if I read this card for you for your career, you are really on fire, man. Your career is going to be taking off and it's going to be super, super successful and passionate because she is somebody who fashions her career, her own, um, what can I say, her own success. She writes that story. It's a very, very passionate energy, the Queen of Wands and the Empress together. I think you are finally bringing both your sides. One is your emotional side, 
And the other one is your fiery, passionate side. You're bringing them together to be one, to be one. But of course, I feel your empress side is still stronger in you. It's very strong in you. This for me is a magical queen. Somebody who takes action, very magnetic, sexually charged. And the empress, my goodness, Leo. I think you need to let Archangel Michael deal with this so-called soulmate or twin flame who's trying to tell you that they're the one. You will find out some information. Something is going to come out after you do a bit of searching online, looking for info and records. I feel that there is somebody else here that they're dealing with because there is this judication financial support that they're giving to somebody else. This is your status. Now, if I look at this in this deck as your status, so be it. It's fine. Current status is single. Look at how you're looking to people. Fantastic. Fabulous. And, and, I feel there's somebody in your energy in this, uh, somebody in your energy in this avatar, which is a knight of pentacles. This is somebody who is making a slow, steady decision. They are moving. They are moving towards you. It may not seem like that. This is earth energy. This is the only earth card, I think, in your whole uh, reading. This is somebody who's thinking of taking strategic action towards you, not rushing in like this individual keeps doing, has been doing in your life. Rushing in just for the passion. You are manifesting somebody who's slow and steady, who's going to take their time, but they move and they move in with some kind of a commitment. This is somebody who moves in with surety, not just like this, in, out, in, out, here today, gone tomorrow. I think you're sick of that too. Now, I'm going to ask for some angel answer cards for you, Leos. Please, if you want, you can pause the video Oops. and ask oh, and ask your questions. Um, let me see if I can give you any additional info. My Leos, please. So my lions. Ready? The card went whoop. Okay, another cup. Righty then. This is a card of timing. Um, Archangel Michael does show up in your reading and, you know, it's all about divine timing. He is in charge. And he is going to come in and give the decision for your benefit, he's protecting you from harm and it's going to be at the right time. And this is a year from now. I think a very, very strong relationship because the night is a very slow moving energy. This individual is moving towards you. They're moving very, very slowly. But from a year from now, you probably will be in a committed relationship and take action. This card of pause that you're thinking you will be shown the red flags. The wheel will be in your favor to move. This is Jupiter rule, guys. Take action. There are helpful people around you. If there are some people who are seeing your situation and seeing you go through this, please go ahead and help. You know, watch tarot card readings and get extra answers and knowledge. That too can work, Leos. Now, and you're doing that, right? Let me... Take um, some oracle cards, archangel oracle cards. Let's see which archangel has a message for you, Leos. My Leos, my God. One more, please. All right, then. Ready. Archangel Uriel, you know what to do. Don't be stuck. Do not be stuck. 
You know what to do, this battle, heart and mind. You know what to do, Leos. Archangel Uriel is telling you, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Teaching and learning. Let me read your message. This is Archangel Zadkiel who's telling you to keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. If you are thinking of learning something new, taking up a new course, go ahead and do it, Leo. This is your green signal. Victory. Victory, Leos. Victory. Archangel San Sandal Fawn. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith, Leos. Oh, Leos. This is just so strong. I, I, I honestly feel that somebody has kept you stuck. But I think you're taking your power back and uh, sending you lots of love and light. I hope that these messages have helped you and given you some clarity on whatever you're going through, Leos. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Join my YouTube family. Subscribe to my channel. And I cannot wait to do another reading for you. Until then, sending you love. I'm sending you light. I'm sending you blessings, big hugs and kisses. Bye, Leos. See you.